either. It's not that I'm uh, making my new hobby uh, out of uh, Max Kaiser uh, bashing, but uh, but basically the whole perspective of the financial market that's being presented uh, at the moment is, is wrong. Uh, it's it's wrong in the Greece uh, Greek uh, situation and it's wrong in the American situation. He has uh, Warren Pollock uh, as a visitor, and 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 Warren Pollock is is talking about the issues and at the same time is distracting people from any solution of the issues. He says, well, of course you have the financial fraud, fraud, and and you have uh, let's say inflation and deflation, which are uh, confusing terms because they are used confusingly. Uh, uh, why not use, uh, the, let's say, uh, the terms that you are talking about, which is the, the money supply in circulation and, and of course, uh, the value of goods and services relative to the currency. Um, you know, he, he denotes uh, the issues correctly and he even talks about the key issue, which is survival. And he, but, but he continues to lament the financial system and that's just not relevant at all anymore. Uh, it's about ownership, it's about who controls the assets. And the assets are not being controlled by the financial system. They are lying, they're open and, 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 and they're, they're available to everybody. Uh, the pro and so, you know, if, if people uh, were to uh, stand up and say, okay, well, uh, you will no longer have uh, uh, ownership of this possession, of this territory, of this land or of this resource, and simply deny access, then there would be no way to stop that process of repossession uh, by the people of their goods and services, which would mean that they would be able to repurpose those goods and services uh, in a productive way, in a, in a way, uh, let's say, uh, working towards a solution. The way that that's not done is because people are misdirected towards a solution. And that is uh, a false uh, promise, which is the money supply, where where uh, Mr. Pollock and Max Kaiser say, okay, there's lots of fraud and etc., and and the fraud is horrible and the fraud in the system, and this is like uh, like you have a, a, a trucking company that that has taken over all the logistics in your area, and it's and it and it's and it denies, uh, let's say, transportation because it refuses that because it has a monopoly. And you're going to uh, to say, well, it has a monopoly because it's so powerful, because it all has all these trucks, but uh, there's false wheels on the trucks and they're made out of cardboard and it does, it's irrelevant. The problem is that there's nothing to ship, that there's no fuel for the trucks. Uh, and, and that's a problem that these trucking companies cannot solve. They cannot solve it. Uh, the only thing that can solve it is the energy that's actually free is solar energy and renewable energy which will be available no matter what anybody says, no matter what trucking company or what company or bank or goes bankrupt, whatever. It will be there. Sunshine will be there, even if, if mankind is, is gone and, and, and the worst case scenario is, is panning out, there will be energy. Uh, so right now, the banks are basically uh, having a, uh, creating a combination of, and that's correct, uh, deflation, which is that they try to suck as much liquidity out of circulation because that means that that there will be uh, let's say there's a certain energy of energy efficiency as a result because people cannot buy energy with the money because the money is not in circulation that's and the deflation is is, is caused by uh, debts and and, and 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 debt instruments that have been created to increase liquidity before because and there was a grab, a grab of the fossil fuels. So if you are in America and you can create huge liquidity, so you can bring money into circulation and attract foreign currencies, then you can buy all the oil in the world and you can have your economy, it, which is which is a consumer economy, an co economy that consumes fossil fuels. You need the money to buy those. That's And then you have, you're basically in the peaceful situation where people are distributing the, the, the fuels around, around the world evenly, according to a banking system uh, rule book, uh, you are breaking the rules and you're being very selfish. And that's what America does because it thinks it's, uh, it's entitled to that. And that's all fraud, that's truth. But fixing the fraud won't fix the problem. Uh, and th let's say that that fraud is causing deflation. It's causing deflation in Greece, in France, where in, in Spain, where people are not able to access the money. And now with the new EMS in Europe, which is of course a, 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 a the arbiter of credit of, of carbon currency and the carbon is running low so the carbon currency has to run low too it's managing debts 
which are uh, basically fictitious instruments, which basically uh, give you the feeling that you should work for nothing. Well, you should work anyway. You should work for your own good. But it does, it's such a it's such a a warped situation in which uh, uh, you are not trusted to be benign towards your leaders. Uh, and in order, because you're not trusted to be benign towards your leaders, uh, you're going to have to uh, believe in the system that they project, which is the economic system. And uh, and that means that the, the, the leadership, the, the, the managers of the economic system, I'm not talking about the politicians, uh, uh, the managers of the economic system rather starve you and, de and destroy you than, than allow you to to use the assets that are there uh, to to build your society it's a very uh, and and that's only because of their own uh, anxiety that they do that because they think they manage uh, society they think they they will be attacked i've talked about this a long time ago that one if let's say if you starve a region uh, the size of uh, texas of fossil fuels then there will be no war because nobody can move. Everybody has a car, everybody's looking at the car. I have a shotgun, but I cannot get to anybody to shoot. And then if I get to anybody, it's, all, it's like a Mad Max society. It will cost uh, me a lot of hassle and the stuff will simply run out and we'll have nothing to put in the cars. And so nobody will able to be able to move very, very far. And everybody's in the same deep shit. And the only solution that we have been denying ourselves and being denied is renewable energies because then we can or we can survive ourselves or we can uh, basically uh, get biofuels to, to move about and we can see other people which is nice but at, at, at the point that that's the situation we're not going to fight anybody there's no reason why would we be fighting over ah you can be fighting over abundant resources that are suddenly presented by somebody because he owns and controls the system. And why does he do that? Well, because maybe he wants to get rid of some people. You know, fight with each other and and let's say there will be only half of you at the end. That type of but that's a game. You're you're being pawns in a game. And you have to acknowledge that, that you have to own the rules, that you have to change the rules. And and Pollock and Max Kaiser are not talking about that. Max Kreis is talking about having gold and silver in order to trade. Uh, that's true, uh, but you want to uh, you want to uh, return ownership of stuff into the hands of people that are able to manage it in a way that generates, uh, yeah, let's say, your about your ability to survive. It's really uh, there's a lot large group of people that simply think. That they are uh, that they are managing a system that works towards, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, a survivable situation, uh, in conjunction with the economic system. I guess those people are uh, very enthusiastic about growing food in Africa and all that stuff. I haven't been there. I, I would like to take a look, but uh, but is it a promise? Is it a lie? Is it really there? Should 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 rich people think? Okay, well, wow, we will. Will grow food in Somalia or something like that. Maybe that works. Maybe it doesn't work. You know, is but but that type of will save you mentality is always the mentality that has submissive people that needs them, that needs the people that that believe the narrative, that follow the narrative, that keep on hoping. And uh, it's a funny thing because. Uh, of course, Iceland is now doing pretty well, and it came out of their economical crisis uh, pretty fast, and uh, and they're not being punished at all for their decision to do so. Uh, truth is, of course, that they still have a number of people from the financial system in their in their government. But uh, there's a there's a thing with the Stockholm syndrome, of course, because we have been people have been mentioning the fact that it's Stockholm syndrome. You you are in a submissive state. Uh, and you like it. Yeah, you think that that's that's the way it is. Just simply the you are you are overpowered, uh, and a way to weaken you is to keep you into abstract mindsets. Which and and the, of course the easiest thing to do to weaken you to weaken your soul, basically your ability to act, 
is to uh, is to create a conflict in an abstract world. Uh, why is that? Why is why are movies about Titanic fights uh, entertaining? Because they completely distract yourself from from your actual life, from your actual interests. So we have a Titanic fight between uh, between gold and, and fiat currency and between uh, the banks and Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan. It's all abstract. It's all like a Titanic thing, mythological happening, which keeps you entertained if you're interested in it, but it doesn't feed you and it and it distracts you from the fact that you're going hungry. But uh, I forgot. What, oh yeah. So so what happens is that of course if you have Stockholm syndrome, then you love your your oppressor. You love you 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 have affection for your for your captor, because that's basically the only emotion you uh, that's the emotion you needed to keep yourself together. Basically, that that's usually the case. If it's just such a mess that your your soul wakes up and loves you, and then you create a world, you accept the situation. The dominating force will have to be accepted. For acceptance, you need love, so you start developing affection for your oppressor. That means that if that oppressor then punishes you, that's illogical. That's not that breaks that can break the spell. It can also show the the the, the, the non power of the oppressor. So let's say you are uh, you are a sheep in a in a herd, and there's a dog running around it. The sheep like the dog. They 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 have an affection for it. They know it. It exists. It runs around. They're always scared of it for some reason. Uh, one day, uh, one of the sheep says, "Okay, well, I like that grass over there. I simply want to go there." Runs over the dog, dog dead, because it's only a dog. The whole herd can just trample it easily. Uh, so, so if if that happens, if one of these sheep runs away, the dog has to run around it until it gets scared, and then it works. Let's say the spell is the the, the, the sheep is is re. Uh, let's say we gui guided again into its its trance of being fearful of something that's virtual. Let's say it sees a dog running around and think, oh, that's confusing. Now I'm scared. Let's go back to the herd. That's the only option the dog has. I I think. You know, let's say, of course, the dog could bite the sheep and etc. But that would make them angry. That would make them aggressive. That would be a, a a a let's say it would not be in tune with the relationship that you perceive to have. That the financial system is there to to take care of you. That the banks are there to organize society. They're not. They cannot do it anymore because the energy is not there. It's about an energy crisis. So uh, so Pollock should uh, should talk about solutions to the challenge to survival, and they are not. In fighting the fraud in the banking system, they are in repossessing the assets controlled by the banking system, and there's no way that that can be stopped. If a community says, "Well, okay, well, we have this uh, this 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 huge piece of land that is bought by the bank, and they do nothing with it. It's just it's not it's lying there, and and, and we can grow uh, vegetables on it, and we can have people working in that communal garden, and they have some." They have, of course, uh, a, ver a very healthy lifestyle if they do that. We like to do that, and the bank says, no, 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 no. Well, at a certain point, you get a situation where the community will say, well, <laughs> then we'll try to, uh, let's say, you go through the legal route, and eventually you don't go to the legal route anymore. You simply make it impossible for that bank to, uh, to, to, to exert that power. And that's, I talked about this in another video, injustice is too expensive. Uh, and justice is cheap. If things go in a just way, in a fair way, then nobody will make trouble, and it will be a very cheap society. You can have that. Uh, that's a situation only if you can distract people. Uh, uh, let's say you can have that cheap justice situation only if you can make cultures out of people, make make them not care for each other, distract them. And keep them in some kind of virtual existence. If you, as soon as people start to wonder about their practical capabilities and what they can achieve themselves, you got mayhem. And then you have to be truly fair and true and truly considering what is right and wrong, 
vis-à-vis uh, uh, -vis, uh, the people that you that you that you want to uh, pretend to be uh, be uh, be ruling. Anyway, way too long video, but thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed.